Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Half-Life Blue Shift. Last time we went into Zen and nearly died and we're going to chapter 6, Power Struggle, to reactivate the power or to regenerate the power cell so we can actually get forward. I am also almost dead. Hmm. I'm about to die, aren't I? <gasps> Armor! Hmm. Not getting turning there. Alright, let's head up. How about a rifle? This rifle is pretty useful in this. Oh. Some colleagues are still alive. If we don't get the power cell charged, we're all going to die. Ah, crap. No! Darn. So we're not going through that area. Well, I guess that's that. Let's head back down. Uh, hey, this will work. Uh, what's that? Oh, I see. Might want to step back or set some satchels. Set a satchel charge. This is one. This is the easiest way I found to take them out. Also, just use this. Three, two, one. Got a boom. Turned all of them into a red stain on the wall. Into a bunch of gibs. We got our turns! Yeah. Oh, frick! Got around the corner and there's that, and he's standing there. Again, uh, Barney stands there with a Terminator and just takes it. He's picking Barney Calhoun. Okay, auxiliary power system is off, and there's no power. What? What do you even say? Oh, man. And you're dead. And you're blow yourself up in three, two, one. Health. Thank you. Morphine administered. Oh, that. It's hard to do it. Peace. Red pace mode. Yeah, I got all these grenades from uh, uh, Zen, so I can, might as well use them. Head through <gasps> old medical stations and H and HV stations, which are only used here. Thank you. Quick save because I can, and let's activate you because it does nothing. This is a uh, th hello. You want to use a... Run that! The mission is go! Okay, I'm not gonna activate that yet. I need these, and also I'm gonna check over here so I can check some, get some more items. Power struggle. That's okay. Why did that go up again? Uh, what the heck is that? Anyways, okay, we can't activate these. You probably tell. So what we need to do is, uh huh, nothing. Okay. Uh. Over here, you, you let the power control thing spare, you can see there's a thing here. And over here is a barrel. Well, also a lake of coolant.
This liquid coolant we can't do anything with. So we need to find a way to get around it. Or through it. Right, by the way. That is why not. Where are we to move? What we want to do is... You see that area where the current isn't connected? Well, we well, this copper barrel. You know? We might as well use it as a, as a, as a connector. Fire in the hole! Ow. Little hole to the wall. And... Uh... Excuse me. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give See this stuff? No. No. Okay. Oh. Ow! Freaking head crabs! I like how the, the handgun never actually stops becoming good. And no blowing that up. Alright. What you want to do is you see the coolant is all flowing and stuff like that? Turn off the coolant pumps. And make the coolant drain. As you can see, that is going to help us a bit. In a, in a very, very big bit. So just gun you down. For more armor. We also know you. With that armor, we head down. So we're just gonna save because you don't want to keep this. No. Stay down. Point facing airlock is on. So, as you can see, there's a huge deposit here of two barrels. And two barrels up above. Push the coolant barrels off. Put them down. Now let's line up the barrels with... With here. Just push this one in here. Push you... I guess... Here. Push you... Here. And lastly, push you. Here. This is one thing I do like about this game is it did try to do more with puzzles. Uh, I actually just realized I can just connect them and make a path. Very close together. Can reach right anyway. Alright, there we are. With those connected, let's go back upstairs and get our newfound health. Don't cross the way. Alright, sorry if I gave it every motion sickness, but... Uh, turn up on the pump and have it all flood with the pot with those but with barrels reaching the surface now. Maybe so we're actually able to get across, even though you only really need two barrels, because if you are uh, platforming like I am, you know, and these quick TV save states. <laughs> that made a self joke there. Due to how much I use save states when I first started Let's Playing, to a disappointing amount. That now, when I look at myself now, I just think to myself, wow, I cheated that hard. The unfortunate that I did that against in Generation 6 is Misty, because I hate fighting Misty. I always, I, always, I always struggle with Misty. And even then, I regret it every time. Oh. Oh, that's why. Knock, knock. It's bullets. Ooh. You're more dangerous. Ooh. Die. A direct... Grenade usually takes care of those guys. Just gotta get more sh ammo. Seriously, always use more ammo. Avoid fire. Have that burn. No, it doesn't burn. I do it half my team. That was close. Ah! Nothing still? 
Oh, I guess I'll use um, use a shotgun because we're in close quarters. Good to hold. Control room. Head in here. That works. And let's turn on the power. There's unit one and unit two. Turning their power to high. Or not auxiliary power, turning on the power to the switches. So we can now head across. I'll just jump through you. I made a mistake, haven't I? Ooh! Who wants damage? Ooh, 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 ah, ooh. Oh, hey, auxiliary power is on. I was wrong. Now we, now we can actually turn the power down here. Well, we still don't have a full power cell. As you can probably tell. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ha! Flawless first try. Just head across. Okay. Fun fact, I can actually do this in real life with the turning while spinning. The walking while turning. It's a real skill I actually have mastered in real life. Okay. With the bridge with the power on, we know set the bridge to move. Like I can spin and move at the same time. In real life. It's not... And while well, without losing speed. Oh. Turrets. You came in? Ooh, your you impulse just going out. This power cell charged and back up to Dr. Rosenberg. I'd help, but I'm hurt pretty bad. <sighs> you can probably push the power cell through the fence into the charging station behind me. Let me see if I can get out of the way. <laughs> That's a piece, Barney. Also, over the way forward. What's the freaking noise? Pierce my ears. Where are you? Die. Open the door. Of the powers. Rest in peace, Barney. You sat your sacrifice will, will be missed. Even though we all have the same because you all have the same last name are probably clones. Anyways, push that in there. Push the button for it to charge it. With pure energy! <laughs> this is not how it's charged, by the inner batteries in real life. We don't just infuse it with radiation. And yeah, I used to pull back my freaking butt because the because the jank with pushing is is insane. And push that into lay here. And in there, and put into the payload. That's Rosenberg now has the power cell. Let's head out of here. Get out of here, man. A leap of faith. I'm gonna actually end the chat end it here in one episode. Repairing the device with the fresh power cell you sent up. This time, however, the process is going to be a bit more complex. So I'll need you to help me in the main room. Let's hurry. All right. There's no time to waste. Let's put the revolver because it's a lot more fast and does more damage. Uh, heal us. We don't have any HP, but we do have a piss a uh, full health. All right. So we'll need his help, at Rosenberg, with the science machine, which isn't that bad. It's just a regular follow what he does. All right. I'll stay down here to monitor the system levels and direct the procedure. I need you to climb up to the control also just, uh, activate the main placing this here. No reason. Once the process has started, you'll also need to release the damping locks each time the system has charged in order to open the displacement field. Don't worry, Mr. Calhoun. And I'll let you know when you need to do something. 
Alright. Need power on? Very good. Stand by, Calhoun. Once the system is initialized, it'll take a few moments for the interpolating resonance coils to achieve focus. Alright, that's the stun. <laughs> what did button do? <laughs> I'm supposed to jump. Okay, let's release the pressure for it. I'm just gonna. Oh. Ow! Frick it! Next down, no, no, no. Floating blood. The system has stabilized and the main capacitors are charging. When the main charge meter reaches full, I'll need you to open the displacement field from the control right. room. Let's open it. Three, two, one. We're almost there. Three, two, one. There's Walter gone. Very good, Calhoun. I'll keep him charging the system for the next teleport event. I need to do this each time for every single member of the science team. Oh, it was never revealed what actually happened to Dr. Rosenberg after Half Life 1. Ah, frick. You hear him? You're gonna run through that satchel. You'll find out soon. Hey Simmons. I'm going to go through next, but don't worry, Mr. Calvin. Right. I've set the system to automatically start the charging sequence once I've made it through. Just wait for the levels to reach full again and open the field like you've been doing. Hey, stop it back there. He could have entered through the other side and had to walk around! Sure, I hear something. So, I think we know the solution to this puzzle. You know, it just cuts through completely. I'll set it off and move the mold up to smithereens. So, I'm just gonna move it down here for a sec so I can just see. See when it goes down. Activate it and move, 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 move. Ah. Uh. <laughs> and that's the end of Half Life Blue Shift. Ah, my eyes. Ah, there he is, Calhoun. You've arrived. Oh. When you didn't What's come that right away, we thought that the. Oh, oh the... no, there's something wrong here. Simmons, come look at Calhoun. Ah, uh, Simmons. Buddy seems to be in some sort of resonance displacement. Uh, uh, I'm in, uh, I'm in Zen. Uh, I recognize Zeri. This is from, uh, this is from Opposing Forces. No, uh, 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 uh. Did I just told her back in time? <laughs> also, this reveals that Gordon Freeman is not wearing a helmet. Ever. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, thank God you made it. I was worried that a malfunction occurred at the last moment and you might have been caught in an infinite harmonic reflux. If that's the case, then you're lucky to be standing here. Then again, we're all lucky. Thanks to you, however, we were mm -hmm. actually able to pull off this hair-brained idea. We made it, <laughs> Mr. Calhoun. Yay! 
Oh, that was the crowbar noise. The guy bashing the the, wind, the door open it was Walter. Somebody Calhoun saw so status out of range. No further subject Calhoun sub status out of range. No further comment. But yeah. Half life blue shift. I enjoyed this game, though I wish that the game was a little longer and had more content. But I understand the reason why for the lack of stuff. Mainly because of the, well, I'm gonna stop with the G-Man voice, because, well, yeah, kinda got screwed over by Sega. Well, not Sega, but... I just got screwed over by the, the, the being ca cancelled halfway. <laughs> but hey, at least the, uh, the PS2 release happened, and we actually see the full extent of the HD models with, uh, well, movable parts and stuff like that. I do. I think this is probably the shortest of all the half of expansions. Like I was able to clear Power Struggle in like 19 minutes. The longest mission was literally Chapter 14, and that was done pretty quick. Heck, I started this around 12 o'clock. I finished this at 1:19. This is a total. Let you know. I, I finished. I started this around 12. I finished it not 12, 11 o'clock. I finished this in two hours. They sell this game for 30. They sell this game original at original price for 30 dollars. I got the entire Half-Life series for 10. Oh, you say America! Because of the, uh... Because of, uh... Dreamcast port, which is then ported to PC because, you know, Dreamcast, Sonic, well, Dreamcast kind of... And that's the end of Half-Life 1. There is one more expansion, which is Half-Life, uh, Decay, which explained what happened to Garney Calhoun at the end of the game. Because basically when Gina Cross and, uh, the other character forgot her name, uh, crashed into each other, like basically went through. Uh, they basically crashed into each other, causing a harmonic reflux with uh, Barney and basically knocking him in and out, in and out, in and out of uh, reality. Uh, and also, apparently, through time, because uh, that's the events of that happening happened after Gordon's. Like. Actually, no. Is it? Yeah, no, wait. It. No, it, it does make sense. It makes sense in that area, okay. I'm trying to find out where the takes place in the timeline. It takes place around apprehension. So, yeah. Anyways, next time, let's next let's play after Blue Shift is the one of the best games ever made, the Metroid of Super. See you guys then. Have a great day. Bye bye.